in this tutorial we will learn how to add calculated column with VBA on this sheet I have some data where column B has name column C has salary column D is blank so this column requires bonus to be calculated basis on salary so I want to calculate 20% of salary as bonus we can simply do this with formula but if it is required to calculate bonus column with VBA then we can do that in simple VBA code so let's see how we can do that let me go to developer tab click on insert from ActiveX control we can take command button let me click on properties change caption as calculate bonus let me change font size press ok let me close this property window then I will double click on this command button this will take me to VBA editor and where I can write VBA code that will work on the click event of command button so let's see how much data we have so we have data starting from second row to row number 16 and bonus has to be calculated in column D that is fourth column so I'll use a for loop here for a equal to 2 to 16 and and a statement of for loop that is next so this loop will run from row number 2 to row number 16 now let's write the code to calculate bonus so let me minimize and see what is the sheet name so sheet name is sheet 1 we can write worksheets brackets then sheet name dot cells then value has to be calculated in fourth column so row number I will refer with a that is the variable for for loop column is 4 dot value equal to worksheets sheet 1 dot cells so bonus will be calculated basis on third column multiplied by 0 0.20 so that is 20 percent once I press enter formatting is done automatically so it is very simple each row fourth cell value is third columns value multiplied by 0.20 that means 20 percent so let me minimize this VB editor and check if this code is working let me click on design mode now when I press this command button we can see that 20 percent of value has been calculated basis on column C that has salary so this is how in very simple way we can add any calculated column by writing VBA code so let me show the code again now 
i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thanks for watching